Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I'll be talking about what books you should read when you're in a reading slump. So I personally have had a huge reading slump ever since summer. Uh, after summer I only read like one book a month. But then in January I started making videos again and I started reading a little bit more books each month. And uh, I still sometimes have an eager to go back into a reading slump or just I feel like a reading slump coming up. So I'm going to recommend you guys the books that help me to get out of a reading reading slump. So first of all, I want to talk about contemporaries because uh, I usually feel like contemporaries made me get out of a reading slump the quickest because they're just easy to get into. Most of the times the characters are amazing and the storyline is just fun and fluffy and yeah. So the first contemporaries are the books by freaking Morgan Matson. I cannot recommend one over the other because Morgan Matson is just so freaking 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 good. If you're in the mood for a road trip with a good friendship and adventure and a little bit of romance, definitely go for Amy and Roger's Epic Detour. I read it this month and oh my god it was so amazing and I will talk about it more in my wrap up and then I also have Since You've Been Gone by her. I read this in the summer of 2014 when it came out and it is just so good if you want to have a book about again adventures, a lot of friendship, a little bit of romance again and self-discovery. Discovery. This one is amazing and also Amy and Roger's Epic Detour also deals with a little bit more of a heavy subject and that is also something that I love about Morgan Matson's books is that she puts something in there that you know the characters have to deal with and it just gives a lot more depth to the book as well. I have not read Second Chance Summer and The Unexpected Everything but I plan to do that very very soon. Then of course I have to mention the Anna and the French Kiss companion novels by Stephanie Perkins and they consist of Anna and the French Kiss is Lola and the Boy Next Door and Isla and the Happily Ever After. I don't know which one is my favorite. I'm very like Anna or Isla. Those two are like my favorites. I also really enjoyed Lola. It does bother me that this copy is from a different publishing company and they're not the same height right now. They're so good. They're based around romance. You just get through these books so quickly because it is just so fluffy and sweet and cute. I love the covers just as much as the story, so I love them a lot. And uh, yeah, just go pick up these if you haven't yet. Then I have Jenny Han, and yeah, she is one of my auto buy authors as well. This is the To All the Boys I Love Before duology, which is not going to be a duology anymore, and I'm very like excited about it but I'm also a little bit like on the fence about it. I'm just like is it gonna be good or is it gonna mess up this whole series but until so far I am loving this. I've also read her other trilogy, the Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy which was amazing too. Her writing style is just so good. Jenny Han is like the queen of contemporaries. And then I have another queen of contemporary, but she's a queen of new adult contemporary, and that is Colleen Hoover. I have read only Ugly Love from these three books, but I've also read Maybe Someday. Especially Ugly Love helped me out of such a big reading slump. I read this baby within five days during school, which is amazing for me. They grip you from the beginning and you just want to keep on reading and reading and reading and uh, I just found my love for books again while reading her books. So those are all the contemporaries that I recommend to you guys if you're in a reading slump. And the next book that I want to recommend to you is a dystopian series and that is The Hunger Games. We have all read them and they're just so action-packed with great characters and I really want to reread these as well. When I was younger, when I was like 14 or 15, I hadn't read a lot of books in a while and these books got me out of that reading slump. And if you haven't read them, what are you doing with your life? And then the next series that I want to mention is the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series by Rick Riordan. These books are so fun and quick to read because this is a middle grade series and I love seeing everything from Percy's perspective. He is so sarcastic and a lot of things happen in all of these books. I have read the four books in the series so I only need to read the last Olympian and then I'm done with this series. Another dystopian series that I absolutely loved and got me out of a reading slump is the Legend Trilogy by Mary Lou. I marathoned this series and Legend Legend was my absolute favorite one. This one is so action-packed. It's like you're watching a movie, but you're actually reading a book. I love the characters. I love that this book is written from a dual point of view. And I also love this hardcover. It just feels so nice and it just looks really, really nice. If you haven't picked up this series, definitely do so because it is just so good with a lot of action. And yeah, I love it. The next book that I have is Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. And I talked about this book in a couple of videos. Again, the thing that I will be saying about all these books is that they are just so freaking good. This cover is 
so stunning. I can definitely say that this is the most beautiful book that I own on my shelves and I have it in paper bag, so the, why didn't I buy this in hardcover? If you just want to read a fantasy that is easy to get into, definitely pick this one up. This is also a first book in a trilogy, I believe, and the next book is coming out in the end of this year or the beginning of next year, I think. The world building is good. It could have been a little bit better, but it's still just, mm, it is such a good book and it takes place in an Arabian setting. And then the last series that I had to mention, I just I just had to mention it, but it's so obvious, is the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. You know why, but I just still wanted to say it because you can pick these books up every single time and they will get you out of that reading slump. So let me know in the comments down below which books got you out of a reading slump because I'm always looking for more books to read when I'm in a reading slump. So you guys can follow me on Snapchat, Goodreads, and Instagram. I will leave links to my social media pages in the description down below as well as my email address. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye.